Saturday Summer 21. My name is HUD601. I'm going to be your host for the next few runs. We are raising money for Save the Children. Links to donate can be found below the stream. And we'd also like to thank Twitch and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. We had one donation come in for the previous run that I just want to read now, and that's from DevJock, who donates $7. And they say, $7 for seven minutes overestimate, as promised. Now, though, it's time for Tiny Tim, and he's going to be running Dizzy 3.5. Take it away. Hello there, folks. My name is Tiny Tim 78. Yeah, and we're going Tiny to Tim seems Dizzy to support him. Dizzy 3.5. You might wonder, where's Magic Land Dizzy? Well, that's coming very shortly because thanks to your amazing generosity, <laughs> we raised the grow yeah. for Save the Children the to make this bonus run happen. And there's a reason I'm doing it before the main run. So I will get my wonderful commentator, the always awesome Digital Duck. Hello. To explain, blink and you miss it, folks. Blink and you miss it. So I'm going to start the run. Doc's going to explain the run. And, well, you'll see. And then it'll be over. It will indeed be over. So counting down. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, so this is Dizzy three and a half. It's the half sequel to Fantasy World Dizzy. But more importantly, it's the it's a, it's a sequel. Uh, Fantasy Dizzy's World Dizzy. friends have been spirited away to Magic Land. And he's been left alone with Danny, who he is Dizzy now is his nephew, depending on which part of the, the law you, you take a note of. Um, we have to grab a few things to rescue Dizzy, uh, not Dizzy, uh, Danny. And then he will give us some sky boots. And with the sky boots, we can take the uh, lovely jumping abilities and we can take sky ourselves boots. over the clouds. We get to the clouds. It's we, uh, we don't sink, we do sink on them, but we don't fall through them because we've got the special sky boots, which for some reason we don't need once we actually get to Magic Land. Mm -hmm. uh, we tie the two ropes together to make a longer rope, and then we tie the machine to the generator. And and then we try to, to start the, the generator. Time coming up. Takes a few, few attempts, and time. That's time. Okay, so quick recap. As Duck was saying, that is the introduction to the game we're just about to play, which is Magic Land Dizzy. So I am now going to switch over to Magic Land Dizzy and we'll reset the timer and we will get started on that straight away. Just a couple of donations very quickly. We've had an anonymous donation of $10. Thank you very much for that. And we've also had a $50 donation come in from uh, Zacharaz106. It says, charity speedruns always make for fun weeks. Donation goes to the Octopath Traveler for Best Girl, Tressa's Story. And one more donation of $50 from Willis the Penguin. Wear the Scooby-Doo costume, save the children. It just makes sense. And that one, no surprise, goes towards wearing the Scooby-Doo cosplay costume for the Scooby-Doo run later on. We are so close to that $10,000 threshold. Chat, can we break through it during this run? I hope we can. That would be amazing. $10,000 for Save the Children. Please keep those donations coming in. Without further ado, let's get started, however. So, are we ready? Here we go. Time to get dizzy. Three, two, one, go. Okay, don't explain a little bit about this game to start with. Will I do the first? Across the mystery of the Zakonchos. Explain the first first five minutes or so. Yeah, so this this is the game proper. It continues immediately where we just left off. Um, Dizzy's friends, the Yolk folk, uh, are in Magic Land, and they've been. Turned into various Он things. And we have to, to find the necessary ingredients to save him. The same is true of, of the other yolk folk. We'll, we'll meet them along the way. Uh, the gameplay, as you can see, is fairly simple. You, you walk around, you jump up things, you pick up items, you use them in other places. And uh, we, we've just got to, to use everything at our disposal to save all our friends and get home again. Нам нужно собрать некоторые предметы. Concentrate on this first bit here. This is the bit that tends to give me problems. Uh, I don't quite know why, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you, you'll notice that we're also picking up a whole load of diamonds. Um, these diamonds are necessary to beat the game. Uh, uh, the we'll have a, a gate 
that requires all, collecting all of them to get free. Uh, but on top of that, it also gives us health every time we collect one. So we don't necessarily want to collect them just as we go through. We'll uh, save some for when we actually need the health. Yeah, they give us health. So there's some, there's some health management in the run there as well. This is the most important part of the run. Yes, the handle. Got to handle it properly. Okay. Well, this shark jump here, I'll talk a little bit about this. This is not easy. Uh, this game is, uh, well, it came out in the, the early 1990s and it's a little expected game. And they were not particularly forgiving. Could you explain about the lives in this game, please, Doc? Yeah, so, uh, as is common for many games of the era, in this game you've got three lives, you lose them all, that is the end, and you're back to the beginning. Um, we do have a health system, which is, this is the first game in the series, unless you count uh, Dizzy Three and a Half as we've just seen. Uh, this is the first game in the series to have a health system, which means you can, you can walk into enemies and take some damage and not die. But if your health reaches zero, you lose a life, you lose three lives, your journey is over. Так, ну короче, нам у нас тут вот видите такой экранный яйца рисовал. И яйца символ жизни. В общем-то, у нас три яйца, это наша жизнь. Если мы потеряем, то игра закончится. Ну, у нас еще шкала здоровья есть. Yeah, so as I said before, we've got we've got diamonds scattered about the place. Мы собираем бриллианты, у нас она пополняется. And other objects in the game. And if you don't know where they are, it can be an absolute nightmare to find. Them. But luckily, we do know where they are, so that's not going to be as big an issue. Uh, and you may have noticed a little frog there earlier on, but we'll talk more about that frog later on, because that frog is actually quite important. I apologize for quickly jumping in, but I wanted to let you know we have just passed $10,000 raised for Save the Children. Ooh. Congratulations, everyone. Let's go. Thank you so much, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. $10,000. Thank you so much. It's amazing to meet that, especially during my run. So thank you so much indeed, folks. Keep those donations coming in. Absolutely fantastic cause. Thank you. Do you have any uh, donations? Any anything to read just now, then Huds? Because um, I'm doing a little bit of backtracking here. Oh, they are coming in thick and fast. I'll get through as many as I can. I'm gonna have to speed run these. Uh, Dark Star has ten dollar donation, saying, "Always happy to see a dizzy speed run with Tiny Tim. Good luck." Oh, there is a We've also had one. five dollars coming from Zonaris. Says, "Hey, old Zonaris." Just want to quickly say that Tiny Tim yeah, is cool. one of my favorite people in all of speed running. Thanks. Thank you, Nas. Because it's just the magic. And uh, one last one for now from none other than Big the Dave, who says, oh, no. <laughs> "Count them for me here." Excuse me, Tim. I'm sure you're excited for your run, but you know I promised this. So shall we begin? <laughs> The weather this week has been excruciatingly sunny side up, but I hope the heat this week hasn't scrambled your brain. Good luck on the run. Oh, Dave. Right, okay. You Never have... fails to crack me up. He definitely cracked me up. I've cra he cracked me up so much that my own fault that I've missed the stick for some reason. So uh, that's a sticky situation for you, Dave. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much to everyone for the generous, generous donations. It always surprises me when I, I see when I do these runs and I get so much sort of appreciation in the donations it's, 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 the the it. it's amazing to help a charity to help the crowd. but Ну тут уже побольше, вот раньше можно было прыгать там, то есть сразу несколько прыжков на ней сделать, но тут водички поменьше, поэтому побольше вернее, поэтому вот такую череду прыжков не сделаешь оптимально. Particular use in the in the game, um, and it's used to to hit a goat, which is. Ah, тут есть палка, она вот мне несколько раз в игре используется, чтобы призраков. There there are there's a lot of um a lot of inventory management in this section. Тут много management инвентаря в этой секции. 
and we, we have about seven or eight items to take over to the left, which means we, we kind of have to, to juggle a few things about, which is what you'll see here. Now, there's also a little trick that happens there as well. It's not obvious if you didn't know it happened, but again, would you mind explaining that to me, Doug? Yep, so there, there is a, a, a certain area with which you can you can interact with characters. And the area where you approach. interact with the uh, 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 speaking is against them. And so if, if we want to avoid talking to them, we can we can use items in very specific spots next to them so that we, we talk to them. Yes, yeah, to короче, no, we can use items and use items Предметы как раз специальных местах, не обязательно прям в теме. Поэтому мы используем это для, для экономии, для оптимизации нашего программы. Экономим время. Yeah, absolutely. These donations are still coming in thick and fast for you, Tiny Tim. Iggy Zig, twenty dollars, says donating to show some love to Tiny Tim and to recognize the sheer joy he brings to the world. Good luck, go fast, and let's make this the best ESA it can be for the kids. And that one goes towards the uh, new incentive we've just opened, actually, for Moonbase Alpha two-player co-op. <laughs> this one is an incentive to force the runners to communicate exclusively with in-game text-to-speech. If you'd like to see that, it's coming up during the uh, the hackathon block later on. Get your donations into that one. Let's meet that target. I will be very disappointed if there's no soy, 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 soy. <laughs> yeah, man, we saw the bridge there. Unfortunately, uh, what happens with that bridge is it runs on set cycles. And unfortunately, I have made a bit of a, a boo boo and, and messed up the cycles there. And I took a jump, and somehow I managed it. So, complete clutch there. Right, okay. Um, unfortunately, getting a little bit mixed up. I think Ray that he has some problems now. Try and get this back on track. On, uh, the estimate is, is pretty... He lost the cycle, but he did a little bit of a clutch. Would you like to talk a little bit about uh, the Spectrum then, please, uh, Duck, which is the, the platform that this game is being run on? Yeah, so the Spectrum in, in general is a... Um, it's, uh, the, so it was originally released in 1982. Which means it predates most of, of the uh, the platforms you've seen here today. <laughs> um, there are only eight colors, or sixteen, or fifteen, depending on how you define a color, that the spectrum can display at any one time, and it's limited to how many it can display in each in each small cell of the screen. So the when you see the way the graphics are laid out, it's all laid out with these limitations in mind, which is why you see Dizzy change color a lot. Whenever he passes by certain objects. Okay, here we go. Close your eyes here for a little bit of uh, background and go for it. Here we go. Spectrum, there. Done. That's got that troll out the way, and this will lead us to actually rescuing. Right, it's all arranged on the other side. Yeah, so our first friend is Denzel. He's a he's a pretty good guy. So it's a limitation of platform. In fact, he's 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 cool. He's he's encased in a block of ice. For our time, not so that bad. We need to melt the ice, and luckily, a bunch of hot water will just do the job. That's that's plenty good enough for us. Yep, that's Denzel rescue. There are six of my friends that I have to rescue. Then I've got to go and deal with the evil wizard that that sent us here in the first place, and then I've got to finally get myself out as well. So there's quite a lot of objectives in this game. Uh, but that's the first one down, so we've, we've rescued Denzel. Uh, but don't blink and you'll miss the second one. If, if Duck, you could explain the predicament of this next person. Yeah, so the second one is Daisy, which is Dizzy's girlfriend. And she has put on a bit of weight. Uh, we are going to... Uh, uh, that apparently makes her thin again and, and start again. Us and and she she also, so we rescued Daisy. But the fight is not our fault. We don't have to get hurt. Yeah, a bit of each on the way. Daisy is now back to a normal size. And uh, we're now going to uh, move on with the next part of this. So once we've this first part of the run is... is yeah, it, it's pretty tricky. The, 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 the beginning and the end of the run are where the most difficult parts are in terms of actual sort of playing the game. Because you may think, oh, you're just playing the game. There isn't anything difficult about this. Trust me. 
Uh, the route itself is quite tricky to follow and remember, and a lot of the jumping that you that you'll see is is fairly precise, especially with anything that involves water. Uh, also, I'm doing quite a lot of infantry work here. Uh, that wasn't what exactly what I wanted. Let's try that again. So, and you've got to be pretty precise with it because if you're not, touching, it does uh, tend to mess things up. Точно, кстати, so let's just mm -hmm. see what we can do here. That should be. Uh, I don't want the cross. I do want the yeah because all these items are over stacking here. There we go. That's just about right. Uh, no, it's not. I want to put the uh, lightning rod back down on there. Yeah, this has just got a bit messy, unfortunately, now because it shows you uh, all you ha if if you make a mistake, then it's very very easy to mess it up now. Yeah, you got it. Короче, да, нам, понимаете, нам нужно отдать предметы персонажу. Но мы не стараемся скипнуть диалоги. Мы не хотим с ними так разговаривать, поэтому нам надо, короче, предмет, мы как бы закидываем прям в хитбокс, чтобы они его типа, получили, когда надо. Ну, типа... Вместо того, чтобы его там с ним разговаривать, там отдавать, что-то мы сразу засовываем за пазуху, так сказать, чтобы когда они проснулись, когда он проснется, он сразу увидит, что у него есть предмет, который нужен, потому что игра там так засчитывает наличие предмета этим путем. Открываем, кстати, ботинки, которые нам позволяют по облакам. And I'm going to drop this duster on Dylan. This is Dylan down here, who's all pushed up here. Uh, and we're going to grab that leaf, and we're back on track now to get this little bit. So we're now going to go back to the leaf that we spoke to earlier on. And she is going to give us, once we give her the development bits, because we gave her a cat back, you see. So she's going to give us the bits we need to sort uh, Dylan out. So while we're doing that, Hubs, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Yeah, we've still got some more donations. So, Bunnybox24 donates $5, and they say, Had to donate during Tim's run to say, Sorry for the dad joke during your pre-show uh, pre run. Good luck for your run. That one is the Scooby-Doo cosplay incentive. And a little update on that one for everyone. Well, they'll yeah, yeah, the Scooby-Doo out of the $1,000 needed. That's so, it. just 126 to go. So, if you're thinking about donating, that might be a good one to put it to, because we're really close to meeting that one. Time for one more? Yeah, go for it. Cosmic the Dolphin donates five dollars as well, and they say in big capital letters, Tim, you are just a wonderful person. And that one's going towards Katana Zero All Stages, the secret boss incentive. Oh, thank you so much, Cosmic, my friend. Really, really appreciate it. Ooh, we've got Dodgy Shark here, Dodgy Shark. Ooh, we got there. Right, okay. So this last section here, what we're doing, uh, a lot of this maybe isn't making a huge amount of sense, uh, but basically we are doing everything in a very specific order, because as Duck mentioned, Dizzy only has three inventory slots, you can only carry three items at a time, and a lot of the routing in this game is down to the manoeuvring of the various items, getting them where you need them uh, in various sort of places, and it is quite... Так, ну, этот руин немножко ранее провалился. No, it's fine. Uh, we had a donation from uh, Tony Pizide. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Ten dollars saying go for 10k. Uh, username, uh, I'm really bad at this. Sorry, username Niels. Donate sixteen dollars, saying so close to ten k, and Louis six three two one donated twenty five dollars as well, saying pog ten k. Thank you all for your donations towards Save the Children and for helping us to reach that ten thousand dollar mark. It's brilliant. Well done. Прыгаем, крутимся. Классно анимация. I'm going to concentrate on this section now because obviously we're having a few problems with it. So if Doc, if you could explain what we're, what the next bit we're trying to do. Так, ну-ка, вторая попытка. Отлично. Хорош. Uh, that's because he's got a personal stereo on him. And we're going to, to give that personal stereo to someone else who, who really likes music. And there's a bard up the tree. So we're gonna we're gonna give him a personal stereo and in return he's gonna give us his personal give him that is he says uh, rock and roll Eureka and uh, decides to abandon the pipes. 
Oh. As you do. Well done, Pizza for that. Alright, we're closing in on getting the next. Now, the next three, two or three uh, sort of savings happen quite quickly, one after the other here. Uh, so, we're going to head back over here. Oh, could you explain about the frog, please? Yeah, so the frog is Dora, is what the uh, the newest member of the Yank folk here. Right. And she has just uh, she's been turned into a frog. And to save her, we need to give her to a Prince Charming. Well, we need to take a little bit of a trip down the well first. Well, we're going to do another uh, bit of uh, animal abuse, unfortunately. Apologies. We're going to do like uh, rodents. A bit of rodent side here. I mean, D Dizzy is pretty much all about vandalism and animal abuse. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> they, they didn't really think about these sorts of things, did they? Dizzy is like, yeah, like, no, no, uh, uh, Abuse these poor animals. And just yeah, well, he's a very mischievous egg. He's very, very uh, antisocial. Right, this little section here is quite nice. I can also explain, hopefully, if I get this right, what happens here. Oh, no. Oh, oh dear, dear, dear. Dora. Right, here we go. Probably. Yeah, so that, that uh, would have been another uh, dialogue skip. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Tim was just slightly off and didn't didn't manage it, but it's not a big problem. It's just a couple of extra lines of dialogue. We have to sit through. Well, right. Now then, sword time. Uh. And if you watch closely here, if you'd like to explain the, what's happening with this one. Yeah, so we have a magic lamp. We we rub the magic lamp with a cloth duster. And the lamp And he zaps. zaps. Well, then, uh, he, he will zap Dizzy if there's like yeah. nothing else in the room. But if there's a lightning rod, uh, obviously the lightning will, will attract towards the lightning rod. And we use that to wake up Dozy. Who is incredibly shocked and needs to have a sleep. Тут аккуратненько запрыгнули. Кривое место. Yeah, so we've we've had a couple of Alice in Wonderland references so far. Тут уже пошли отсылки. Колесо в стране чудес. We're through the looking glass. We're taking the Red Queen. Пешки, красная королева. У нас все-таки магическое королевство. So we have two missions left now. We have to go and deal with the evil wizard Zack, who's responsible for our predicament in the first place. And we also need to rescue ourselves. Get ourselves back out of magic land. So uh, while we this next section now is quite a bit of backtracking. So again, Hugs, if there's anything else you'd like to say, well, please feel free to do so. New Yeah, we've yeah. got loads of donations coming in for that incentive I mentioned earlier for Moonbase Alpha 2 player, the text to speech communication, where we will force the runners to only use the built in text to speech. Uh, function in order to talk to one another. So Barchan donates fifty dollars, says save the children. Devjock donates ten dollars, says all the wrong contents. We have username Nils again with twenty one dollars, saying was that a normal sized Tim who drank the drink me potion? Do you want to answer that one? I'm gonna I'm gonna say that yeah no I've always been this small but hey. Good things come in small packages, so I don't mind. <laughs> we also had a twenty-five dollar donation uh, uh, from Zeta Gundam ZZ, who says shout out to Tiny Tim for just being a super friendly person and making donations a blast. Keep up the great work, buddy. And then one last one for you, Scan me a hundred dollar donation saying Tim is a legend. Keep up the amazing. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Skenmi. Thank you. Thank you for everyone again who's donated. Remember, it's all going to the Save the Children. As I said earlier, one of the things I love about doing these events, helping out these events, is that opportunity to help other people, you know? And uh, I'm very, very lucky in that I'm in, I'm in a decent place that I can do that. And it's it's just amazing. Right, Duck, I'm going to cut myself off here. Could you explain about this? This is Dizzy versus the Volcano. This is the most difficult part. It's actually the most difficult platform in the game. В игре. Uh, Вы тут можете увидеть uh, uh, это жерло вулкана. Um, не очень приятное место. 
and sometimes you can be stood there waiting for hours just for <laughs> just for, for a cloud to appear in the right right place luckily it, it seems to happen fairly quickly this time the only other problem is we've got to go back uh, to the to the for this, this clouds this cloud sequence now this is the devil down here so we get to the devil and get this trident and this trident is what we're going to use to deal with the wizard uh, but now I've got to get back over the wall. We're going to get him. So, this, as I said, it's the most difficult part of the run. Uh, it is really quite a challenge. Uh, again, you need to be very precise on your jumping. And can you talk about the cloud jumping, please, uh, Doc? Сейчас, кстати, опять же, нам придется уже Довольно плотное место. Опа, ой, ё ё ё Хорошо, хорошо. But with these, because these clouds are already moving, up, it, it kind of means you're, you're sinking through them twice as quickly, and it, it can very no, often mean you're sinking through the cloud that. before you've even fully done it. It just makes the jumps a lot harder than they actually need to be. Yeah, and then you end up in the lava, and you end up as a boiled egg, and it's it's really really not good. Uh, it's it's quite unpleasant, and that volcano is is my nemesis, to be perfectly honest in this game. I mean, this game, as I said at the beginning, Отдавать туда-сюда разные предметы, это И помочь Дизи спасти свой Таня Тим говорит, что это типа игра, которую он играл в детстве. Ему очень нравится игра. Я уже сказал ранее, что это приквел к этой игре – Дизи 3.5. И это потому, что это Дизи 4. И вы можете видеть в фоне, если вы посмотрите на текст, вы можете увидеть ИВ и романные номера. Есть на самом деле 8 основных Дизи игр. Так, ну да, Трезубица еще. Есть еще какие-то другие игры, которые начали с начала, и также есть некоторые аркадные спин-оффы. Но, в основном, мы сосредоточимся на игры, потому что они... Ну, игры спин-оффы аркадные, но мы фокусируемся на адвенчурах. Окей, так, здесь есть Визит, и мы только сделали немного Визит Стабинг, так что мы убили злого Визит Драк, у нас есть его ринг, но теперь мы должны сделать Лорд оф Рингов. Забираем, убиваем босса, забираем кольцо. Отличная работа. Отличная работа. Отличная работа. Ха-ха, Moonbase go... I think that was enough wubs. <laughs> 607 also donates $10 and says, I'm glad to see Dizzy featured on such a big stream as this. It's probably my favorite European video game franchise. Good luck, Tim. And finally, uh, Peset donates $10. Says, I never played original version of Dizzy, but enjoyed DOS version back in the day. Glad to see the game being destroyed. Thank you so much indeed for all the, the Dizzy love here. It really is appreciated. Uh, as I say, this is a very, very uh, important series. It's one of my childhood favorites. And, and not the reason I actually got into yeah. running, but it's pretty much become almost my, uh, my sort of, I don't know, uh, signature uh, now. But I've, I've really, really do enjoy. Question for you, Duck. I haven't well, been so normal, I think you have. I think you're normally 26 at this point, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Let's go back and have a little look. Did you, uh, did did you, you get on, on, the, uh, on the bridge? Yeah, let's go back and have a little look. This is the issue here, unfortunately, folks, is that again, this ge this game requires 30 gems to finish. And Нам нужно, короче, 30 демов. What I tend to do for the speed run is I do tend to чтобы закончить игру, у нас их 25. To ensure that I get my health re replenished, but I believe I've maybe missed one here. So I'm just going to take a little quick stroll. Хотя на самом деле у Райнера небольшая проблема, что он, короче, возможно, пропустил какой-то гем. Вот он сейчас сомневается. И сейчас как раз вот он обсуждает, как ему выкрутиться из этой ситуации. Будет интересно. Да-да-да. 
Да, он прошел мимо. Остальные, остальные все на пути. Не, он типа, те, что он пропускал, остальные, они там типа просто на обратном пути все. Так что там, там все по самое оптимизируем максимально. Но вот сейчас ему надо, короче. Сейчас он просто пройдет на пути, у него как раз там типа 4 гема будет. Как бы важно, что их... Ну, конечно, можно все собрать, но то, что они хилят, когда я собираю, поэтому лучше оставить их потом. И потом просто повышать свой запас. И мы на финише. Я хорошо двигаться. И осталось последние два бриллианта. Сейчас ждем удачную платформу, потому что вулкан нас идет. Если мы тут неправильно прыгнем. Отлично, отлично. Опасное место. Вот тут самое опасное место, в общем-то. Ой, хорошо. О, мы бросили. Он бросил кольцо в лаву. Он бросил кольцо в лаву. О, покчан. И это время. Отлично. Ну, конечно же, какое же фэнтези без отсылки в «Пустелина Да, наш Фродо даже не сомневался. Отлично. Чудесный ран. И мы закончили Magic Land Dizzy. Отличный ран. Хадс, over to you. Thank you so much for that amazing run of Magic Land Dizzy there, Tiny Tim. Amazing run. And yeah, if you guys want to see some more Dizzy action, don't go anywhere. We're going to swap our two people around. Digital Duck is up next, running Dizzy, the ultimate cartoon adventure, and Tim will be your commentator. We'll be right back. И небольшой перерывчик. Uh, следующий 